Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to pair morph transitions and actions in PowerPoint to create this cool interactive animation with a glass morphic effect. To save time, you can even download templates with this paintbrush effect using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. First things first, let's open a new blank slide in PowerPoint. We'll then delete any placeholder text boxes that might be there. To give our slide a unique look, let's right click on the slide, select format background and choose picture or texture fill. From there, click insert and select your desired image from your computer. Once you've chosen your image, close the format background pane. Next, let's add our main title. Go to Shapes and add a text box. Enter your title here. To make it stand out, let's center align it, change the font color to white, and adjust the font style and size. We'll also increase the character spacing to give it a more dramatic look. To position the title at the top of the slide, simply align it to the top margin. Now let's build the glassy looking octagons. Go to the Shapes tab, select the octagon shape, and draw five octagons on the slide. To quickly duplicate the shape, press Ctrl Shift left arrow and drag the shape to the right. You can repeat this process by pressing F4. Once you have five octagons, select all of them, resize them, and distribute them horizontally. To give them a more balanced appearance, place them like this. Then, select all the octagons and group them together by pressing Ctrl G. Align them to the center of the slide. Then, ungroup them so we can apply individual formatting. With all the shapes still selected, right-click and select Format Shape. In the Fill section, choose Slide Background Fill. This will ensure that the shapes take on the same background as the slide. Next, let's add a subtle shadow effect to the shapes. In the Effects section, choose Shadow Select Inside Center as the preset, set the color to white and adjust the blur to 25 points. To remove the outline of the shapes, go to the Line section and select No Line. Now, it's time to populate the slide with content. Place each slide's title below the corresponding octagon. To ensure consistent formatting, use the Paste Special option and select Paste Text only. Next, we'll add icons to each octagon. Search for suitable icons online, download them, and insert them into your PowerPoint slide. Resize the icons and place them inside the octagons. To make the icons stand out, change their color to a bright, contrasting hue. To enhance the visual appeal of our slide, let's add a subtle blur effect to the background. Right click on the slide background, select format background and choose artistic effects. Select blur and set the radius to 10. To ensure the blur effect is visible only within the octagon, insert the same background image again and send it to the back. To make our slide interactive, we'll need all our slides added to this presentation. Let's add a zoom effect to the first slide. 
On the first slide, go to Insert and select Zoom. Then pick Slide Zoom. A window will pop up. Check the slides you want to include in the Zoom and click Insert. Now you'll see a small versions of each slide. Adjust their sizes and positions to fit within the octagons. To quickly add zoom effects to the other slides, let's duplicate the first slide. Select the first slide and press Ctrl D. Now on the original slide, let's select all the slide zooms and move them below the slide's visible area and reduce their size. You can quickly reduce the size of the title text by pressing Ctrl Shift comma. On the second slide, do the same for all the slide zooms, leaving the first octagon. Select the icon of the first octagon and move it to the top of the octagon. Resize it to make it smaller. To make the first octagon stand out, we'll add a subtle shadow effect. Right click on the octagon and select Format Shape. Go to the Effects section and choose Shadow. Select a preset for the shadow and then adjust the color to white, the transparency to 0%, the blur to 28%, and the distance to 11%. This will create a soft, highlighted effect around the octagon. Repeat the same process for the remaining slides. Once you're done, remove the titles and slide zooms placed outside each slide. Let's make the first octagon clickable. Select the octagon and go to Insert Action. Choose Mouse Click and then Hyperlink to. Select slide and choose the second slide. This will make the second slide open when you click on the octagon. To make the transition between the slides smooth, let's add a morph transition. Select both the first and second slides. Go to the Transitions tab and choose Morph. Set the duration to 0.5 seconds. Now, when you click on the octagon, the transition to the second slide will be smooth. Let's test if the click action works. Start the slideshow and click on the octagon. The second slide should open with the morph transition. Now let's modify the action so that the transition happens when you hover over the octagon instead of clicking it. Go to the action settings of the octagon again. This time, go to the mouse over tab. Choose Hyperlink 2 and select the second slide. This will trigger the transition when your mouse hovers over the octagon. Let's test the hover action. Start the slideshow and move your mouse over the octagon. The second slide should open automatically with the morph transition. Now, when we hover over the octagon on the second slide, we want to return to the first slide. To do this, we'll use a similar action setting. Go to the action settings of the octagon on the second slide. 
In the mouse over section, select hyperlink to and choose the first slide. Let's test this. Start the slideshow. Hover over the octagon on the first slide to go to the second, and then hover over the octagon on the second slide to return to the first. Let's add a final step. Go to the second slide, select the zoom effect, and in the zoom options, check the return to zoom box. This will ensure that the zoom effect reverts to its original state when you leave the slide. Follow these steps for the remaining slides to complete your presentation. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.